Okay, so I'm here with Patty. And Patty, can you tell me what it was that first brought you to the clinic here? Anxiety. Um, very tired, and the anxiety had gotten out of control to where I was afraid of everything. And how long had that been going on for? Oh dear, I had trigeminal neuralgia, which I'd never heard of until it was diagnosed, which causes your face to have um, jolting of pain. Mm -hmm. And that had gone on for three and a half years. Mm -hmm. And so um, the anxiety that caused from being so afraid of this going off, um, I think that's where my anxiety got the worst. But after surgery, it ended up being a different issue and a brain tumor was removed. I still had, I thought the anxiety would go away and it didn't. And so it, it accumulated. So it got worse and worse. It got worse and worse. And your, and your home situation got more and more stressful. Yes, that was what kind of tipped the scale. So it's when um, we actually moved in with our daughter uh, who was expecting twins and very sick. And she had five children at 11 being the oldest. And we moved in to help her. Um, also to bring my husband home from yeah. oil fields. But extremely helpful. Extremely, extremely helpful. busy. Yes, now, it was. Let me um, ask you this. What kinds of things had you done in the past for this anxiety? Well, the doctors had given me alprazolam, mm -hmm. which only made me sleepy. Pretty, pretty potent medicine. Kind of it's, knocks people it, out. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't take it during the day because then all I wanted to do is lay on the couch. And that doesn't else? work. Um, prayer. Okay, prayer. So a lot of prayer. Okay. A lot of prayer. So okay. So um, what uh, what have we done? What 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 did we do with you in two years? Uh, you started me on. I had heard uh, from a girlfriend that came here oh, that um, you had helped her with her anxiety, which is yes. was a very hard situation she was in, and you had given her cortisol. And Q96. Mm -hmm. And she turned around in less than a month. Less than a month, that girl was almost back to her normal self. And I had known her quite a while. So my mind said, maybe that would work for me. So that's why I came in to see Dr. Vance mm -hmm. in hopes. Um, I had seen other doctors and uh, it just seemed like they were hacking at the leaves. And nobody, nobody got to the root. And... Um What's happened since you started all this stuff? Well, it just uh, has been like night and day, actually. <laughs> it's t We've been a couple months now mm -hmm. adjusting. Mm -hmm. And instead of uh, bawling, when everybody asks me, how are you doing today? And how are the twins doing? By the way, my daughter that was pregnant had twins. So there is seven in the household. We are still living there with Plus a dog. Plus you and your husband. Plus my husband and I, and he's still looking for work. And... A lot of stuff. A, a lot, lot of, of triggers yeah. for um, anxiety and frustration. So how are you surviving in that kind of a stressful situation? Um, basically taking all of the parameters that Dr. Mm -hmm. Vance has given me. I also have diabetes. Mm -hmm. So my numbers were, uh, especially over Christmas, out to kazoo. And we have gotten the numbers balancing through his his medicines and therapy, mm -hmm. and and then the anxiety is just it it's not there. I I, I don't have to go back in my room and cry for a while. Mm -hmm. I'm able to stay out uh, and serve and help with this family situation, and it doesn't take me as long to recover when I do get anxious, like mm -hmm. cooking meals with seven children and babies crying. Uh, I get kind of. Be anxious too. <laughs> I have to laugh. My daughter's so sweet. She says, "Mom, do you need a few minutes in your room?" <laughs> and usually I do, <laughs> but so, I don't need that as much. Yes. I'm able to stay out and function longer. Let me ask you this: What difference has this made in your life? <sighs> oh wow! How do you say? It's like night and day. It, it's like I wanted to stay in my room. And I didn't want to talk to anybody. I didn't want to see anybody, mainly because I bawled so easy. And I felt, I felt out of control all the time, all the time. Mm -hmm. And so it, staying in my room, I could control things. I could keep it clean. There wasn't noise. I use earplugs. Mm -hmm. And now I, I can step out. And there's not, my heart doesn't pound because I don't know what I'm headed into. I do know. And it's okay.
I, I can I can do it. And and when I do get tired, I can step back and go mm -hmm. in and not feel guilty and not be I'm a failure all yeah. the time. Yeah. Is there anything that you'd want to share with people watching this? Don't give up. There are answers. Yeah. There are answers. And if your regular doctors are not finding those answers, don't give up because I've been years trying to figure this out. This is almost three years since my surgery that I thought my symptoms would go away after. And they didn't. And they didn't. And they got worse. And mm -hmm. um, the answers are there. Yeah, Patty, I said, okay, if we um, advertise this, put it on our, our website, YouTube, Facebook, all that kind of stuff. Absolutely. If, if in any way something in my experience has somebody step up and, and come to... Um, to find answers, mm -hmm. that would that would be a sweet uh, reward. Thank you so much.